Welcome to Sweden. This is kind of a time for me to share to you my heart, my soul, everything I love about this dear country. In the short time I've been here, Sweden's been pretty awesome. We've gone on a hike, seen many awesome things, but more importantly, much more importantly, uh, Bible school is awesome. People are awesome. Uh, I couldn't imagine a better place to grow in my faith. I'm asking questions, getting some answers, but eh, in general ending up with more questions. God is good. He's shown himself through, through nature, through people, through relationships, through spending one-on-one -on -one time. Can't imagine anything better. I love it. I love it so much. I'm so glad I'm here. I want to thank everybody back home watching and listening. Um, thank you for your support, both financially and uh, spiritually praying. Uh, couldn't have done it without you. Couldn't do it without you. Still got a number of months here, and uh, the next time the weather may not be may not be so favorable. But for now, I'm out here enjoying God's creation. Would you like to describe what's yeah. happening here? <laughs> I am always living in 2050. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> So we can do three? Yeah! <laughs> three for the win! Alright, lay right down! <laughs> Squish up! <laughs> Alright! You ready, Flo? Alright! So this month is Movember, and uh, I got this going. Um, but this, this takes a lot of patience because you know you get you can't shave it. You gotta let it grow. Um, and the same way, uh, God is very patient with us. Maybe not with our mustaches or beards, but uh, He's patient with us as we as we don't listen to Him, um, as we do our own thing. He's still there, patiently waiting um, for us to to turn back and to um, yeah to love Him. He's always there. Always waiting. It's letting time. On the right, on the right, on the right. Water is now boiled, and it is time to enact the plan of putting rice to sock. Better work. All right, so now we're going to oh, should we wash the rice? Hey, all right. So the rice has been washed, so now we're going to tie a knot in the top so the rice doesn't come out. All right, first, we're going to turn that on. We're just gonna slip it right, right in, slip it right in there. And then we need a weight on here in order to keep this always on. Powder should work, and if it doesn't, then I'll get like a Bible or something. And now we wait for 20 minutes. Um, it is pretty well cooked.
Here. So yeah, that's the rice in the sock, and it is actually very tender, and uh, tastes pretty good. I also have sauce, so um, put some sauce in it. That might have been a bit much sauce. That's okay. Um, stir it up with my trusty spoon. Now let's see how it. Uh, It's actually pretty good. Too much sauce. But it's pretty good. So in conclusion, uh, sock rice is a genius idea. And if anybody else tries to tell you that someone else came up with it, you can tell them that you heard it here from... This is like revolutionary. I should patent this product. I hmm. Today is a good day. Toby, please explain what happened. Just to sum it up, you put rice into the sock. Yeah. You put the sock into the kettle. Yeah. And you boiled the water yeah. to boil the rice. Yeah. <laughs> and the fire alarm went off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, Toby, tell me what you think of the place. Well, I feel like a Robin Hood. It's true. It's actually really cool because we have that, like, cave thing over there. Then we have the entrance over there. And then, like, all that action. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I have ketchup and it's from Canada because it's sent for my sister. Sydney, thank you for the ketchup because now it is going on this uh, this nicely fire cooked sausage. Woo! Look at that. Mmm, that's nice. And it'll probably also be really, really, really hot. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Sausage and ketchup. Mm. Thanks, Toby. Those are pretty good. You're welcome. So yesterday, it was raining a little bit, and we decided that, hey, we want to get rained on. So we moved back into the cave. It was actually pretty cool. Nice sleep. Now I can say, I slept in a cave. Okay, so Mo and I here, uh, we had a genius idea, and uh, we had to do a roommate picture, and it had to be in our room, so we decided, why not do things that are really Riley and really Mo? And one of those things is sitting around a campfire. So what did we do? We brought the campfire inside. We have a wonderful um, fire source. Why don't you turn that fire source on there, Mo? Yeah. Wow, look at that fire burn. Amazing. It's amazing. And we have uh, um, some, some food cooking over there. Uh, Mo sits with his ukulele. And yeah. It's a great time. Perfect. It's, just... it's wonderful. I'm, I'm quite proud of us. Yeah! He's so much better at this than we are. I know. Beautiful form. Wow! 10 out of 10! So, Riley, you're about to go on the giant swing. How do you feel? Actually, pretty good. Wow. Do scared. you think purple and yellow coordinate? <laughs> Actually, purple and yellow are complementary colors. Oh, like, so, nice. therefore, so it draws your attention. How do you feel attention. about your fashion statement? No, it's, um, <laughs> it's a pretty bold statement. Not sure about the quality of the statement. I personally think he looks great. You should put your jacket on. But that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You look like you know what you're okay, doing, Ryan. Chris. I trust Step up to the top. Do it upside down, Ron. <laughs> yeah, totally. We're not even doing anything! <laughs> Leah. Hey! Yeah, Ryan, Ryan, flip! Flip! Upside down. Get him go! Woo! Yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> Riley, do it for the vlog. Amen. I respect the heck out of that. <laughs> do it for the vlog. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Stylish. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Allison, how's it going? Uh, oh, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Really? Just, yeah, just trying to trying to keep you in this wheelbarrow. What wheelbarrow? Oh, I just, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just imagining things. So, as the sun sets behind me, and I sit on what ground I just realized, I'm doing a lot of fun stuff. But you know, sometimes you need that. Hard to hard connection over YouTube and not really hard to hard. Oh, mice in the field. Nice. During the first semester of Bible school, uh, I learned a lot of stuff about theology and what's right and what's wrong. Figuring essentially what I believe all out. Spring semester um, has been a lot less of me figuring things out and a lot more of me realizing that God has a better plan than I do and that. If I give my life to him fully, completely, then I don't actually have to figure a lot of things out. And it's just trusting him. And it's taken me too long to realize, but I'm glad it's here. <laughs>